Hello and welcome. My name is Sahan Chalabi and I'm one of the solutions engineers for Secure Connect. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can provision Secure Connect within your organization. To get started, you might find yourself in a couple of different scenarios depending on which solutions are already existing in your infrastructure. You might find yourself as a white space where you've neither deployed Meraki or Umbrella, maybe you just have Meraki or Umbrella, or potentially you have both. In today's particular video, we're going to be taking a look at scenario two specifically. If you did find yourself in any of these other scenarios, you can head on over to the documentation.meraki.com websites, scroll on down to the Secure Connect section, and if you once again scroll towards the bottom, you will see a tile for setting up your Cisco Secure Connect account, and within here, we will see a table that lists all the different scenarios we saw on the presentation deck earlier. To come back over here, we might find ourselves in two different situations when it comes to the provisioning. When you initially go to provision Secure Connect, there will be an attempt to automatically link and converge the two dashboards to one another. If that does fail for whatever reason, we can fail over to doing the provisioning manually, and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So, in order to actually start getting things set up, we would have needed to have received a welcome email. This will let us know that the organizations we're going to use have been enabled for Secure Connect, and it also takes us to the activation page to actually converge the two solutions. The email will look as such. It will first ask us to claim our new umbrella accounts. This will be the organization in which the Secure Connect licensing has been applied. I've already gone ahead and accepted this invite. In step two, it's asking us to set up our Meraki accounts. In this particular scenario, I'm going to be using an existing Meraki organization in order to do the onboarding. And then lastly, we have step three to link Secure Connect to Umbrella. Now, before I do this, I'm going to check a couple of things off just for best practices. Once you've managed to log into your Umbrella organization, we can verify that Secure Connect licensing has been applied by going to the admin tab and then licensing. It's on this page where we can verify that the current package applied has been a Secure Connect variation. The other large consideration I want to take into account is which regions the two organizations are hosted in. If I come on over to the Meraki organization, I can see at the very bottom here that my Meraki organization is hosted in North America. I'll also want to make sure that my corresponding umbrella organization that I'm onboarding is in the same region. So I'll come over to admin and then log management. And I can see that the data storage location is defaulted to North America. For other organizations, you may want to take a quick look at this section over here in the account setup troubleshooting page. Under 2.4, we have check data storage location, and this includes a table with the mappings between the Meraki hosting location and umbrella storage region. Now that we're all set, we are ready. I'm gonna come back to the welcome email. In my case, we could click it, but I'm actually going to copy the link address just because I'm in this window. I'll go ahead and paste that into the Meraki dashboards and this should bring us over to the manual integration. So we're being prompted for some API keys. There's three keys that we're going to need to generate. So I'll come back over to my umbrella organization. Once again, under the admin tab and then API keys, and then legacy keys. The three keys that we're going to want to generate for starters is the umbrella network devices. Once I generate these tokens, I'll be given a key and a secret, and I'll simply want to take and copy these over into their respective fields within the Meraki dashboards. The second key I'm being asked for is the reporting credentials, which is going to be the next the third one down rather. I'll generate a token over here as well. So we'll go ahead and grab that reporting key, throw it in there, and the secret as well. Last key we're going to need to generate are the management credentials at the very bottom. Looks like we already had something in here previously, so I'll just refresh that key. In most instances, you won't see a key there if it's been provisioned for the first time. And fantastic, all the keys look good. We'll go ahead and hit finish, and then we should see the page refresh and the Secure Connect tab starting to show up. Now, don't worry if you see some error messages initially, they should clear up. 
One more note to make over here on the keys. You may need to use these keys again in the future for other integrations. A good example is the Meraki MX and MR DNS integration. It's best practices to take all of these keys and store them in a safe location in the instance that you may need to use them in the future. The ramifications if you don't are simply you may need to refresh the keys and then paste them back into the Meraki dashboard to ensure that the secure connect link is still there. Thank you very much for watching and all the best. Take care.